Life is Fine by Langston Hughes. I went down to the river and I sat down on the bank. I tried to think but couldn't, so I jumped in and sang. I came up once and hollered. I came up twice and cried. If it hadn't been so cold, I might have sunk and died, but it was cold in that water. It was cold. I took the elevator 16 floors above the ground. I thought about my baby and thought I'd jump down. I stood there and I hollered. I stood there and I cried. If it hadn't been so high, I might have jumped and died, but it was high up there. It was high. So since I'm still here, living, I guess I will live on. I could have died for love, but for a living, I was born. Though you may hear me holler, though you may see me cry. I'll be dog, sweet baby, if you're going to see me die. Life is fine. Fine as wine. Life is fine. According to science, the Earth is 4.54 billion years old, even though the Torah and the Bible say 6,000, and the Quran says 6 billion. Using the same math, the universe as a whole, all the gas giants, comets, meteors, black holes, red giants, white dwarfs, nebulas, spiral galaxies, ellipticals, whimsical, logical fallacies are all remnants of a body that is 13.8 billion years old. Most people don't like to acknowledge that even though they weigh 120 pounds on Earth's crust, they're weightless in space. Turned into dust, you need a telescope to see. And that flash of light you just saw was someone's birth, and that other one was someone else's death. We think we're fireworks, but each one of us isn't much more than a matchstick. It's that quick, it's tragic, but see, it's kind of like magic. See, in 2000, I was four years old. I could tell you the name of every dinosaur I saw in the Natural History Museum, what it ate and where it came from. Myosaurus lived in present-day Canada, Amargosaurus lived in present-day Brazil, Kentrosaurus lived in present-day Sudan and Ethiopia. What we know, but don't entirely realize, is that the dinosaurs were blades of grass in a different way. It sounds cliche, but they stood for about 140 million years with no kingdoms and no rules, and mammals didn't show up until God decided to strike down a fiery rock from hell for how long they kept their peaceable society alive. If they weren't so supreme, we wouldn't be framing their bones. It's art. Every mark is a microscopic color chart, and slowly time will take apart the residue of the dearly departed. But for now, our hands are the only capable ones with opposable thumbs. But will you look at what we turned them into now? They're tiny plastic figurines you can collect and put in a toy box. Why would you shrink something so grand down so small it fits in your hand and all that's left is the idea of geometry? I am not great. We're not great, but we're anomalies, and if you only had a day left to breathe, what would you mark your initials on? What would you risk before you're gone? Fly off a roof like a pterodactyl or die trying, hold hands with the ones you love, because the law of conservation doesn't apply to conversation. Everything has its time and place, and time and space, it's strange, but expired milk would give you a sour face, and we won't know when the last body of water evaporates or the next generation of kings comes to cross, but the good times I remember from 2003 are hopscotch and applesauce and hey ya from speaker box. And as long as I can still feel the moss under my feet, nothing is ever truly lost.